Hey, 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 what's up everybody? Welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another episode of Sean Scotches, where I taste whiskey <laughs> most of the time. Yes, no, but uh, this is another fine sample I have received from our man Sean, and it's really cool. It's a uh, Cavo, Ca oh, so that's part of a group of Cavalan. Um, and this is the uh, brandy cask. So I've never had that. I just, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a cool little sticker on a sample bottle. Um, I really think that's pretty neat. So, um, just got it, never had it before, excited to try it. For those of you, if this happens to be the first time, you're, whoa, first time you're, um, it's a nice little seal on this sample bottle. Wow, high tech, I think, right? Um, if you've never seen one of my um, tastings or reviews before, that's cool. I am just a, an average guy drinking really good whiskeys and scotches and telling you what I taste, you know. I think a lot of us are very similar. We're not experts and uh, just like good things. I got, uh, you know, I always liked tasting different things. And whiskey was like, eh, you know, take it or leave it, American whiskey. And then I started hearing about Japanese whiskey. And then well, come to find out this is Taiwanese whiskey. And this is uh, uh, one of my all-time favorites uh, is from Cavalon. Not this one, because I haven't had it. Um, but I love everything that they produce. Um, I think right now my favorite is the Petey cask, um, which has changed over time. It used to be the Bin Ho. Um, but anyway, enough ums. Let's, let's, let's get to this uh, brandy cask. Hmm. Oh, well, let's take, take a look at it. It's a real amber copper color there, right? You know, a little darker. And I, I, I wasn't sure what it was going to look like. It's uh, darker than the X bourbon. That's like a little bit of a lighter hue than this one. Got a little burn of it. This is around, they say, around 50 to 59 percent. Um, I don't have it because it's a sample, so I'm not exactly sure. I get a little fruity smell, you know, once you get past the um, the alcohol boozy smell, but yeah, I'm getting a little fruit in there, but I can't discern what kind, so let's just get into tasting it. When you taste it, smooth though, like it gives it that slick kind of feeling. No burn, um, at least on the first sip, that's really good. Slight hit of sweetness, and now I'm getting a little bit more fruit. Um, I think that's the sweetness maybe that I'm thinking. So, can't make it all out just yet. And there's a, new tr there's a trick, of course. Uh, we add a little bit of water. I was always never sure. Do you put water and put it on ice? But they say that this will help pull out the flavors a little bit. So I just add a little drop here. Just to, just to see if we can pull out any more of the flavors on this one. It is good though. It's smooth it doesn't burn it's always nice and it's got flavor to it you know it's not like, like i don't know like american whiskey is just uh, i don't know you get some some smoky ones sometimes and that's kind of fun but you know you don't get these these uh all these different kinds which have like the fruity flavors and the toffee and the vanilla oh okay now you can smell it now you definitely got a little bit more fruity smell out of it. Yeah, no, that's, uh, like, I can't pick out what kind of food it is. It's almost, I don't know. It's not so citrusy, like a lot of times I'll get, um, you know, grapefruit. And it might be there, but it's not as citrusy as grapefruit. That's... I 
can't pick it up. Maybe more passion fruit? I don't know. But it's got that fruity side of it, so sorry. And, oh, a little bit of honey at the end of that one there. I think. And maybe that could just be the, the oily smoothness of it, but, um, or that's the sweetness of it. So that's what I'm getting on this one. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's really good. I wish I had a lot more because I could sit here and just think about what it tastes like all night and enjoy it. But look at how much I've done. So I'm going to finish it with you guys. Um, yeah, so again, no burn, which is outstanding. A very fruity flavor to it. And I, I don't know, but it's not over the top like citrus. It's, I don't know what it is. I, you know, I no. don't. Maybe a little bit of peach, a little sweetness, a little honey then. It's like, I don't know what the fruit is to be honest with you. It could be peach, could be passion fruit, could be something like that. It's not as sharp as a grapefruit, I don't think. I don't know. Um, at least the way I envision it. But then it's like, it's dipped in honey. You know, so it's taking whatever fruit that I'm tasting. And I'm not sure. It's not like apple either. Um, and dip it in honey. You know, and add a little dash of alcohol because you still get the after alcohol after it and then eat that fruit that's what you this that's what this tastes like and it's going to be gone hmm. Hmm. there you go that was good that one was a little bit more toffier for whatever reason i don't know if it was because it was the bottom and there was more water or something like that but for me very good Sweetness, driven by some kind of fruit, a little bit of honey, mm, very smooth, like that oily, uh, not thick, but just smooth that it rolls back very easily, no burn, fantastic, I don't know, that's what I got out of all of that, and I got a nice, nice glass, <laughs> that was, uh, I'm sad it's over, um, but, uh, you know, there you go, that's what I got for you, um, you know, let me know if you've tried it. Love to hear from you. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.